Xin chào from Ho Chi Minh. Welcome to another vlog. Today is a beautiful sunny day here in Ho Chi Minh. Today's video is our first day here in Ho Chi Minh, and we are gonna be exploring it with the help of a special guest, my long lost friend. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys! Jessa! Xin chào! Welcome to Ho Chi Minh! <laughs> Hi Jess, how can Hi. you tell? What can you tell to our viewers? First and foremost, uh, this is the, our morning look in Ho Chi Minh. <laughs> Fabi <laughs> just did some yoga. A little bit of walk in the park. I know. Yeah, it's and so um, at, if you turn, uh, if you look there, look how beautiful. The Saigon River, and from here, behind me, is the Vin Homes complex. That's landmark 81, an icon here in Ho Chi Minh. Minh City. I know. Oh, is it? This is the Vin Home Central Park where you don't feel like you're yes, in Vietnam. Yes, it's a very westernized, posh area of Vietnam. Like this is oh my so gosh, different from what we've seen about Vietnam so far. Yeah, it really felt like being back in Toronto for a moment, I know. but in the full heat of Vietnam. I know. Look at this. Wait, this should be our view. Look at this, you guys. All right, first stop today is oh, Filipino food. We're gonna grab Filipino food because Jess told me that there's Filipino restaurants here and I'm so craving Filipino food. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna have that for breakfast. <laughs> you know, lately we've had our problems with our food, so now we're going. So I, I hope to, my I people. Have to, yeah, I have to revise everything in my plan schedule for that. We can still eat street food, you know. What have you done to your onion, <laughs> We can't see vlogs anymore. I know. So I hope my Filipino people won't fail us with our yes, food hopefully. poisoning situation. Um, but uh, to just fully experience the whole local Saigon thing, you can really see the difference just by crossing the street. What's mm. a posh area versus a local area? So we're just gonna walk from there. This is so different from what we've seen so far in the past few days. In the mountains, in the rivers, this is so different. Welcome this is to like the urban jungle. The um, urban jungle. The condominium area of Ho Chi Minh. I know. Not the business district. Oh, not yet? Yeah, not is yet. It this is it urban jungle as well? These are just like condominiums. Welcome back to the city, fam. I like it. <laughs> uh, from here, you see the beautiful building complex of Vin Homes. And from this point on, you will see the very big contrast, the very local side of Vietnam. After we cross the street, which is very dangerous, don't do this, guys. You're going to see everything so local, no buildings, just really your whole homey Vietnam. It's homey vibe of Saigon. So say goodbye to the tall buildings. Bye. <laughs> Bye to the modern world. <laughs> Bye to the modern world. We are back to the local, busy yes. Ho Chi Minh City. That's interesting. It's like just like a road for apart. So cool. Roads apart and worlds apart. <laughs> <laughs> worlds. So my friend here, my good friend, is about to make us cross this highway. Kill us. Kill, kill us. us. Kill it's us. our first day here in Ho Chi Minh. Look, it's only eight lanes to be crossed. <laughs> eight lanes. No big deal. Go, Fabio. Fabio. Go. Go, Fabio. Here, follow us. Follow us. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Shit, 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 shit. I know insurance will not cover this. Insurance will not cover this. But you made it! We made it! Okay, okay, okay. wait. Halfway. There's Halfway. more, there's Halfway. more, there's more. We survived! <laughs> this is my um, neighborhood. Welcome to me and Hukai. The difference. the difference. This is familiar, familiar. to me and this Fabio. Is this is the Vietnam they know. Do you hear the noise? The city noise? The this motorbikes. The, the motorbikes. This is familiar for me and Fabio. The people. I'm so shocked on how quiet the other area is. I was doing yoga in my heaven. No cars, nothing. And now it's very loud. And now it's very loud. Now, yes. It's like a totally different, like <laughs> I told you, a total opposite of the place I've been in. And you just have to cross that road. After a year living here, I think this is the only overpass in, in the entire Saigon. I keep asking people and they're like, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> it's so nice to have a local with us. We don't have to research anything. I'm so yeah. happy. And I didn't even research anything. Whatever I know, I'll just tell them. Mabuhay! We are in uh, Vietnam's Filipino restaurant, Lori Quats Grill. And I just like to make a shout out to my friend MC. Hi <laughs> I <don't> MC. <laughs> Hi MC. And my and my ina anak, my goddaughter Zaina, and also the JC 
And my mom. And, and ito, JC Sanchez. Yeah, JC Sanchez. Yeah, Giancarlo Mula Sanchez. <laughs> to, <laughs> to be specific. So, guys, please subscribe to Mama Kwatang's channel. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna be so happy. And this is our food. And tender, juicy hot dog. Guys, this is the typical Filipino breakfast. No vegans allowed. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna dig it. Breakfast was done, was delicious. Much needed. Anyway, we're gonna go back to a coffee shop again and grab another coffee. Because that's how we do. We always grab coffee. First, we need to cross this road again without our friend. Let's see if we can do this. Yep. 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 Now. Now, Bunny. <laughs> yep. <laughs> My gosh! Okay, next next highway. Who's a pro now? Oh, if you want a full tutorial on how to cross a road here in Vietnam, comment down below. After coffee, we went to the war museum. We didn't vlog much inside because it made us feel very, very sad after knowing and hearing all about the history of the war. Also, we wanted to be very respectful and everyone around us was feeling some type of way. It was such an eye-opening experience for both me and Fabio, and we definitely learned a lot about this part of history in this country. <laughs> Next up, guys, we're gonna grab lunch, and this is a perfect location because... Uh, this is Saigon's top tourist spot, The Walking Street. Apparently, it's a restaurant or a food court it's of... It's a food court of everything in Vietnamese, from southern food, central, northern food, and also some Asian food like Thai, Hong Kong, Singapore. So let's yeah. check what's inside. So you can check out all the flavors of Vietnam yeah, in one place. And we're going to tag the place underneath with the address. This is amazing. Like instead of traveling for a month, we could have just come here one day. So right now we're trying to order south, middle, and north food from different areas of the city or the country. This is one of my favorite Vietnamese dishes. It ha it's a sticky rice with something inside, like usually meat and stuff. And there's a crispy rice krispies underneath. Um, it's called uh, bánh ít ram. Sounds good. Watch me drop it right away. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Put everything in your mouth. Don't bite it. <laughs> rice. Mm. Why you have to bite bite small <laughs> Put everything in their mouth. Everything's just exploding in your mouth and you can just spill it. I have a small mouth so it's a struggle for me to put all that in my mouth in one bite. But it's delicious, the crispiness. And then you have that soft part on top, very sticky. It's very tasty. Actually this sauce, which just is a little bit spicy. It wraps up everything. It wraps up everything. Because it's, it's spicy room. and sweet and it's just so good. The crispy part has to touch the whole... Oh, Python. Mm. Mm. See, it's big for you too. We are so full right now. We're gonna roll out of here. Thank you, Jess, for introducing us to this food. I'm so glad I regained your trust in Vietnamese food. We gave up with the Vietnamese food after food poisoning. We're back into it now. How was lunch, everyone? Full! So we're walking here uh. at Walking Street, Nguyen Hue Walking Street. Have a little bit of digestive pro process starting So out. what is this street? It's a street full of shopping and shops shopping, and... shops, overpriced everything. Overpriced everything. It's very common here. There's a lot of like tea and coffee shops there. Oh, look at that, Fabio. 